Hey, what's up, Pope Paul as well. It's your boy Serrano. Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be taking a look at the six days later using the Umidigi G9 5G. And we're going to be talking about everything that I've experienced so far after using it for about one week. Now, this device is marked down half price. If you pick it up right now, there is a promotion going on where you can pick it up for a lot cheaper than the $199 original price tag. So I'll make sure I leave the cheapest link down below so you could actually pick one up. But in case you were wondering, this is Umidigi's G9 5G, which is a budget device, which is going to be featuring some really good solid specs and performance when it comes to this price point. And so when it comes to this device, I want to tell you what you can actually expect when it comes to using the G9 5G since I've been using it for a little bit of time now. And I wanted to share my experience with the chipset as well as the cameras, the battery life, the performance, as well as the build quality and the overall display. Around the G9, you're going to be getting a express key, which gives you a shortcut option. You also do get the volume rockers and the power button, as well as a 6.7 inch 90 hertz i care large display now if you're brand new to the channel i truly appreciate you for coming through if you're new make sure you stay locked into the end of the video but if you're already a part of the crew salute so as far as the display it's actually a pretty good one you're getting 90 hertz high refresh rate you're also getting the option to change it between 60 and 90 hertz as well and they also give you 450 nits peak brightness on here with the 6.7 inch display, which is going to definitely give you a nice viewing experience. And so this display features some really cool protection for your eyes. So it effectively filters out harmful blue light, which relieves visual fatigue. It's going to allow you to enjoy the screen a little bit more, especially those nights before you go to sleep when you're using it. And it's going to definitely be able to protect your eyes from the harmful light that comes out of it. You also get built in support with the FM antenna so that you can actually just listen to the radio without having to plug in a set of headphones to use as an antenna. So you could just turn it on and listen to the device through the FM radio directly. As far as the overall build quality on here, I definitely think it's going to, you know, stand the test of time. They drop tested it 14,000 times and they also button pressed on these clicky buttons 300,000 times as well as plugging it in 20,000 times through the USB port. And so I'm pretty confident that when it comes to using this device, you will have the confidence of using it with or without a case, even though I definitely recommend you should put one on here. But the awesome thing is that Umidigi definitely provides you with protection for this device inside the box. So you're going to be getting a cloudy glazed case that comes with this device if you do need that extra protection. And so I definitely think that when it comes to the performance on here, it's going to be pretty solid. You're getting Android 14 out of the box, six gigabytes of RAM with additional six as well of virtual memory. You have some pretty cool optimization features for the power efficiency, the CPU cooling and the app manager, as well as, you know, you know, monitoring apps that drain battery. I also do like the fact that this thing has a couple of different shortcuts to get your flashlight and other features that you want to get to with the shortcut key, which is actually going to be cool when you enable it. This device also ships with 128 gigabytes of storage. So that's actually a pretty good amount, but you can actually expand the storage with an SD card using this device up to one terabyte. Using the display in different scenarios, I noticed that it was pretty vivid when it came to looking at it to the naked eye. They actually provide you a pretty decent display to look at on here. It's going to give you 1600 times 720 resolution, and it's also going to have that 90 hertz refresh rate when it comes to scrolling through social media and gaming on here. And so the build quality definitely feels really good on the hand. You're getting face unlock as well as a fingerprint sensor on the side. You also do get 18 watts fast charging on here with a 5,000 milliamp per hour battery, which is going to definitely last throughout the whole day. And as far as the sensors, you're getting a virtual proximity sensor, an ambient light sensor, an e-compass, a virtual gyroscope, as well as a G sensor. 
This device doesn't include NFC, but as far as the rear camera, you're getting a 50 megapixel main camera, as well as a two megapixel macro camera, a two megapixel depth sensor as well. And the rear camera can record in 4K 30 frames per second when you max it out. And the front camera can actually record in 1080p 30 frames per second. And so I tested this device with a gimbal and without it. So take a look at the photos and the videos that are recorded right here. And so the phone does have some really cool features built into the software. They're offering AI scene recognition, photo stabilization, as well as video stabilization. You can also customize the anti-banding at 60 hertz to give you a better frequency when it comes to recording video here in the US. So when it comes to video recording on here, it's going to be pretty good. I definitely recommend changing the settings and anti-banding the 60 hertz here in the us so that you can get better results when it comes to the overall stability of the camera and you can see right here i'm holding it in my hand without any type of attachment so i definitely think that it did a pretty decent job especially for the price point but i wanted to show you what it actually looks when you attach a gimbal to this camera and so this is some of the samples that I was able to record on the back of the Umidi G 50 megapixel ultra clear triple camera setup. And you can see this is the main camera as it is when it comes to just using it in the hand. And as far as the detail, I could definitely say it did produce some really good results. Hey, what's going on guys? So this is the video recording on the front facing camera on the Umidi G g9 5g but let me know what you guys think about the quality right now um, if you hold it far away you get a little bit better perspective and so yeah one of the things i was very impressed with when it came to the g9 5g is that it had some very realistic colors and they were very punchy and also realistic so it was something that would draw you in all right guys so this is the umidigi g9 5g recording 4k 30 frames per second i am actually using a gimbal to walk with the phone in my hand so i just kind of wanted to show you the footage that you're going to get on here all right so i just flipped it And let me know what you guys think about the footage right now. Looks like it's still using the rear facing camera, the 50 megapixel to record. So yeah, um, this just to give you an idea what it's gonna sound like when you're recording. And now I'm flipping it back to the front and you can see right here what it's gonna look like when I switch it. So yeah, pretty good quality on this camera. Definitely think that you can get some very good video quality when it comes to using a gimbal. Now, I definitely think that the hardware on this device does look really good and premium, especially when it comes to the feel in the hand. It has a nice, decent weight to it and also has a really nice texture on the back as well as some flat sides, which makes it easier to hold on to. And so, yeah, it's a very thin, lightweight device. It also does have GPS for navigation as well as Galileo, BDAO, and GLONASS. And so, yeah, it's going to provide you a really good navigational experience when you're using it for the GPS. So as far as the internals, we're getting a processor powered by the Unosoc T765, which is going to give you six nanometer processing speeds, octa-core processing chip up to 2.3 gigahertz with Armali G57 MC2 which is gonna deliver a pretty decent experience. It's gonna allow you to do some cloud gaming. You could also do some Android games on here as well. And as far as using this device for gaming or you know 
powerful performance. I noticed that it was able to handle most games that I threw at it, P PUBG, Call of Duty Mobile, um, even some cloud gaming on Xbox Game Pass, it was able to do. So I could definitely say that this phone can handle a lot of things that you throw at it, especially when it comes to the price point. And so as far as casual gaming, I could definitely say that the Umidigi G9 5G was able to handle everything I threw at it. Um, so it's going to be rocking the Unisoc T675, which is actually a global debut for this chipset. As far as casual gaming, I could definitely say that the Umidigi G9 5G was able to handle pretty much everything I threw at it. As long as I didn't put the graphics to maximum, it basically flew through everything that I was trying to accomplish. Uh, this device does have that Unisoc T765, which is actually a global debut for this processing chip. So it's going to perform very good as far as the optimization of the battery life as well. I managed to get through the whole day and everything like that. And I'm still actually, you know, having the phone kind of um, get used to my usage. So that will happen over time. So as I use the phone, the battery will get better. Um, as far as updates, I haven't had any incoming software updates come on here as of yet. And so, yeah, this, this is going to be able to handle mostly everything you throw at it. As far as the charging speeds, it was pretty quick at 18 watts fast charging so that I could basically charge up at a very fast rate. And as far as the overall battery life, I was pretty much happy with what I was getting because it was able to last me throughout the entire day. Yeah, so I did expand the memory up to six gigabytes, which was able to give me better multitasking and slightly better performance. I also was able to charge it very quickly with the 18 watts charging. The build quality does look cool with the 50 megapixel camera setup that they call the angel eyes. It also does have a nice lightweight feel in the hand and some really good performance for the price point. The shortcut key, they definitely made some improvements on because when you long press it, it helps with accidental presses because you have to press it for about four seconds before you actually get the action. And so on that long press, it's going to help when you actually, you know, accidentally press. And so, you know, that short click was also very good when it comes to my flashlight. But let me know what you guys think about the Umidigi 5G. I definitely think it's going to be a pretty solid device under $200. But if you're still here, just type down below. I'm still here, so I know you're still kicking it with me. And I just want to remind you to hit the like button so we can get this video out to more people and help beat the YouTube algorithm. I'll check you guys later. I'll hit you back later, group. Peace.